Hey, what's going on everyone? And welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, we are going to build a script in order to monitor services or daemons running in the system. So before continuing, as always, remember to subscribe, give it a like, and uh, let's get started. All right, so let's say that I want to monitor uh, Apache, which is running on my system. So let me do a sudo systemctl status Apache 2. And as you can see, Apache is running on the system. So I'm going to run a script, which is going to monitor the service in the background or the daemon. And if the service for any reason stopped, it's going to try to restart it uh, three times. And if, if, if it's unsuccessful uh, trying to restart the, the service, it's going to send a notification to, let's say, uh, the root or the system administrator. So I'm going to execute the script, which is service underscore monitor. And of course, I need to pass the service that I want to monitor. All right, so now the script is running. I'm going to go ahead and stop the service. So I'm going to say systemctl stopped Apache 2. And uh, let's go ahead and enter the password. And let's go over to the other tab and notice that it detected that the service stopped and restart the service. So if we go back, we do status Apache. Notice that the service is uh, running again. All right, so let's get on with coding the script. So for this, I'm going to use uh, gedit, which is uh, the default uh, graphic, graphical editor uh, installed in Ubuntu. So I'm going to open that, and I'm not going to close the terminal, so I'm going to leave it here open. And um, what I want to do here, I want to go into this icon here, the breadcrumb here, and I'm going to, and I want to go inside view, and I'm going to select highlight mode, and I'm going to select, and I want to go ahead and select uh, data sh. It should be down at the bottom. There we go. I'm going to select that. Click select. And uh, the first line in the script is going to be the shebang. So I'm going to enter um, pound sign exclamation point, and then followed by the bash interpreter. And next, I'm going to write another comment that says description. Um, I'm going to say monitor service running on system. And then you can fill out the author as well as the date. All right, so the first thing, uh, the, actually, the second thing that I want to do here is to uh, get the variable pass when uh, we run the script. So this is a position of parameter. So I'm going to use an if statement and I'm going to say if the number of position of parameter is equal to zero, then we are going to echo to the user a help menu. So I'm going to say usage uh, using command substitution base name dollar sign zero, which is the uh, which is the the first position of parameter, which is the name of the script, and then followed by um, service name. All right. So I'm going to close quotation. Next, I'm going to say exit. We need to exit the script, and we are closing the if statement. All right. So if we want to make a comment here at the top that says um, checking for service argument. All right. The next thing that I want to do, I want to check if the service that the user wants to check it is actually installed in the system. Because it could be, we could have the scenario in which the user passes a service or a string and that is not an actual service or is not installed in the system. So I'm going to create another comment here that says checking for installed service. I'm going to create a variable called service. I'm going to use command substitution and then which dollar sign one. And I'm going to pipe that into 
this is what is uh, useful to have a terminal open as you type the command. So I'm going, let's say that I want to say which um, Apache 2. All right, so notice that I want to get only the name of the service instead of the full path. So we need to use a pipe here and say cut delimiter. We're just going to be the forward slash and the field is going to be field number three. Actually, field number four. All right. So I'm going to copy this from here. Control Shift C. And I'm going to paste it inside my script. And I'm going to close the um, parentheses. And the next thing I'm going to go ahead and uh, verify if a service, the service var variable has actually been initialized, meaning that we found the service and we assign it to the to the variable because it could be the scenario that uh, no service was was found. So I'm going to say if the exit status not equal zero or uh, minus c service, which means that the uh, the variable is empty or null, then I'm going to say echo service not found. And then I'm going to exit in that, in that case and closing the if statement. All right, so I'm going to also indicate here exiting. Um, now I'm going to echo to the user, checking for service. All right. And now I'm going to create a while loop that says checking for service here. So I'm going to say while one, which is basically a an infinite while loop. So I'm going to say do, and somewhere down here, I'm going to say done, all right? So here I'm going to say end. So next I'm going to say echo, checking uh, dollar sign service. Let's say that I'm going to say PSE, and then I'm going to grab looking for Apache 2, and I've, I need to type Apache. All right, so as you can see, Apache is running. So if we print the exit status on that command, we get a zero. So let's say that we are looking for MySQL. If we print the exit status, uh, status on this, it's one because MySQL is not running on the, it's not installed in the system. So I'm going to pipe this into grab service. All right, and I'm going to throw the output into def null. So I don't see the output when I run the script. All right, so now I need to check if service stopped. All right, so if the service stopped, meaning that if I run this command and for some reason it's not running, uh, we need to restart the service. So I'm going to say if the exit status is not equal zero, then um, we're going to say echo service stopped restarting. Okay, so now I'm going to enter in another uh, while loop. So I'm going to declare a variable i equals zero, and then I'm going to say while i less than three. So I'm going to uh, run three attempts at restarting the service. So I'm going to say do, and uh, I'm going to say system CTL um, star, and then service. All right, so next I want to increase i by one. So I'm going to use the math expression or the math expansion. And um, next I want to, actually before increasing i, I want to check again here if the service, if the exit status of the previous command, because remember, we're trying to restart the service here. So if we successfully restart the service, we no longer need to uh, continue looping and restarting and attempt to restart. So we can exit 
as, as soon as we as soon as this command executes successfully, we can exit right there and then. So I'm going to say if the exit status is equal to zero, then we can break out of the loop. All right. So this is basically the same as an if statement. If this is not the case, meaning that the service was not restarted, then we are going to add one to i and continue restarting the service. Uh, again, I'm going to do sleep one. So we want to sleep for one second between attempt to restart the service and we're going to close the while loop here. And we need to also close the if statement, which we haven't done. And between attempts, I'm going to say slip three seconds. All right, so it's going to we're going to check every three seconds for the service. Remember, this is just a proof of concept. This doesn't have to be like this, but you know, it's something that you can improve on and scale the, the script. If we didn't successfully restart the service, I'm going to come here down at the bottom and I want to notify the administrator. Okay, so I'm going to say if service um, couldn't be restarted, notify admin. So I'm going to use the echo command and I'm going to say service, service, service couldn't be restarted. Attention. All right, so, and then I'm going to pipe that into the mail command and I'm going to say subject and I'm going to say um, service um, stopped, all right? And I'm going to send it to my username, which is jsmith. And that's about it for the script. So next I'm going to control S to save it. I'm going to name it, uh, service underscore monitor to that is sh. All right. So next I want to make it executable. So shmod plus x service underscore two. Uh, so if you want to be able to send and receive message, uh, at least locally, which is what we are doing here in this, uh, in this video, um, you have to install um, Postfix in mail util. So you can say sudo um, apt install minus y postfix mail utils and map, which is a text based te text based email client. So once you have those things installed, uh, you're gonna probably gonna have to configure postfix, but, but which is pretty easy, it's not that difficult. You want to select local uh, email. And um, once you install that, then you should be able to send and receive email. So if, for example, if, if you say um, echo hello world, and um, you send this to mail subject um, hello, and I'm going to send it to J Smith, I'm going to press enter. So if I now uh, go into my uh, email client by typing mat, notice that I have a hello message here. So that it says hello world. So it's that simple, it's not that complicated. And um, so let's run the script. So I'm going to say um, service monitor two, and I'm going to, and of course we need to pass the service. All right, so it's checking now. I'm going to go ahead and Stop the service and let's see. All right, so it's restarting again and it's checking. Okay, so let's check on the status and it's running. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, give it a like, and leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about the script.